Hi, so this is Jet Rose. Sorry I haven't posted in a while as I've had a bit of eczema problem on my face. So um, here goes. I am, I've had a request for this one. I've had quite a few. I'm going to mention a couple of names because I've been asked to. One is by Marie who is in Florida and the other is Sarah in Kent. So um, this is the French song by Joan Jett and here goes. I'm just going to play the intro. Right, so for the intro you need, and also for the verse, you'll need a D power chord, D5 power chord, and that's on frets 5 and 7 and strings 5 and 4. Then you will go on to a G5 power chord on frets 3 and 5 and strings 6 and 5. Then you will go over to the A5 power chord and that's on frets five and seven and it's strings six and five. The strumming pattern is you will be, for the first one, for the D5 will be down, up, down, open strings, G5 once, go over to the A5 twice. And when you do the A5 power chord, you, you will hit it and take your fingers up and then, so it will stop the ring, stop, you want to stop the, the strings from ringing. You want to stop it like you don't want it to be like that. You want to go. So you'll take your fingers off very slightly to stop it, to mute it, and also you can mute it with the palm of your hands too. So it's. You will hit the open E string, and then you will go with the G by power chord. On that bit, after you sing, don't you feel? Don't you feel nervous, baby? You will hit a down strum on your G five. And on the first up, you will take your finger off the top string, and so you'll hit a the, in the, just the E string. So, and just before you are going into the pre-chorus bit, you will do this four times. playing is an E5 power chord and that's on frets 7 and 9 and on strings 5 and 4 and sometimes you just play the top E string you don't even hold the, you just play the top E string. The A5 power chord, D5 power chord and then the E, just do the E. When John plays this live she does the A5 and the D5 power chord down up strum. When she comes to the E5 power chord she does the down strums. And all it is is on the third string, open string, open G string, put your finger on the second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, back to the fourth, back to the fourth, and then back to the open string. This goes now to the key chain, five or just an E. Instead of going back to the A, you'll have a B. B, five power chord, that's to fret seven and nine, six and five strings, to come down to the E, five power chord, you go to an F sharp on strings, frets nine and eleven, and the strings five and six, sorry, strings five and four. And 
then when you have the guitar solo, another key change, you go from the B to a C sharp. And that's on frets 9 and 11, and it goes up again. There's a B, C sharp to an F sharp. What Joan does this over here, she will go F sharp to a G and a slide to a G sharp. So it'd be, this is, this is on the... Last time Joan does this bit. And she ends on the C sharp. Slides it down. So I really hope you like that one. That is one I I have got to put on my set list when I play live at the band because I absolutely love that song and I think it we should be playing it because I'm a crazy Joan Jeff fan. And I think that's all for the French song. This rose that I have on, this jewellery that I have on, is made especially for me. It's by lovely homemade crafts and they are called Fat Frog Crafts and I will put the description down below and you can have a look, look them up because they are awesome. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for joining me and I'll see you again real soon. Hopefully I'll be a lot better then.